Hello and thanks for making your purchase of your new Rampant Design Tools product. This quick tip is designed to get you up and running as quickly as possible. Let me show you why Rampant Design Tools QuickTime based elements are going to not only make your composites look fantastic, but they're going to speed up your effects workflow. Transfer modes, or blend modes as they're referred to in some applications, are what we're going to use to get you going in the right direction. So let's take a look at Adobe's After Effects. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to Command and Tab into After Effects CC, and we're going to take our clip. We're going to simply take it, drag it, drop it into a new composition. You'll see we have our basketball players here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to take my Rampant Design Tools film element here, and I'm going to take it, I'm going to drag it and drop it right down on top of my background. Now you'll see that if I scroll through, we have white on black, and what we want to do is we want to remove the white just so that the blacks are. Now, we could use a Luma key, but Luma keys can be very messy. So let's use our blend modes instead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the bottom and toggle between switches and modes. You'll see now I have access to my transfer modes. All I'm going to do is simply change from normal to multiply, and you'll see now that this element is essentially ready to go in any project I might happen to need it in. Very, very nice. But what if we had an element where instead of wanting to remove white, we wanted to remove black, like in the case of this element that I have again from Ramp and Design Tools. In this case, I'm talking about the fantastic cinematic dust effects element. I'm simply going to take it, drag and drop it right down here to my composition. And like I said, I want to remove the black and I want to leave everything else. So how do we do that? Well, again, we're going back to transfer modes. What I'm going to do, simply come back to transfer modes, and instead of choosing multiply, I'm simply going to choose add, and guess what? We're right back up and running with this fantastic element keyed into my Adobe's After Effects timeline. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, head on over and post them in the Rampant Design Tools forums.